Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. My name is Anik, and I'm so happy that you're joining me wherever you are in the world today. I wanted to talk about one of the purse that I love, I love, I love, I love, and it's none other than the Prada. Prada. All right. Yes. Before we get into it, I will ask that you subscribe, um, you give me a thumbs up, and uh, you comment below. I want this to be an interactive process where you tell me things that you love to see, and I'll share things that I've learned so far, uh, where we can learn from each other. And I always, always welcome any constructive criticism that you have. In ways that I can improve this experience and make it better for you and not only for me. I'll also ask that you follow me on Instagram. Uh, I am not quite active on TikTok, but I'll also post the link below. So just give your girl a follow on Instagram. It's a little bit the morale when it comes to being creative, I have to be honest. You know, like I love when I, I get um, messages of people asking, oh, like, what about this? What about that? You know, it, it, it brings me joy and um, fashion brings me joy and I hope it brings you joy too. So let's get into it. I love Prada. In early 2020, Prada released two renditions of the 2000 and 2005 um, nylon mini bags. And these bags um, reminds me sometimes of the Fendi baguette, but it's Prada, baby. It's Prada, baby. And I love, I love, love Prada. I don't know why. It's one of those brands, uh, cute, um, still very feminine, but somewhat luxurious. And on um, the affordability scale of luxury brand, I think Prada is quite affordable compared to all the other brands. So the Prada rendition, I'll show you mine. I'll show you mine. I don't have the box, but I kept mine in this little cloth bag. Um, I got this a couple of months ago. It was July. Was it July? Yeah, I think it was early July. Um, and I have such a story about this because, okay, let me start with the story first. I saw this bag in early 2021 and I was shopping on Vestiaire Collective and I had it in my wish list. I was like, oh, this is pretty cute. But you know, I was not ready to purchase it then. Um, and then I'll say about the month later, Chloe Kardashian, I think it was Easter, during the Easter weekend that she posted a photo in this bag. You probably know which bag it is, right? You probably know which bag it is. Uh, but when I saw it, I was like, come on, leave some things for me too. Like, because I knew, I knew that the moment she posted, those price will skyrocket. And because it was a limited edition, it was sold out stores. So the only place you could buy it was on the resale markets. And when I saw it on Vestiaire Collective, to be honest, it was about $2,300, $2,500 um, Canadian. And the moment she posted that photo, I kid you not, it went up to $4,000. I was like, come on, you know, that's what I said, leave some stuff for us. But fast forward a couple of months, that was about April. In July, I was browsing the internet as I always do. And I saw this purse in a store in Montreal. It was an online store from Montreal. And it was $2,500. But they had a sale going on. And I don't know if it was a mistake on their part, but it was about 25% off if, if you enter certain particular codes. I entered that code and I bought, bought this bag for 1,500 Canadian, Canadian. It is such a steal. I went back on Vestir Collective today. It's still upward of the 3,500. So for me, it was a steal. You know, you don't you love it? So when you, you find something that you really wanted, but you find it within the budget that you wanted to spend with it. I went to the old front for store and the Prada boutique and they kept asking me, where did you get it? Because here, let me tell you, the Prada boutique didn't have it. They will have the pink um, and the white, but not, not, not this piece. Oh, it is super cute. It is super cute. Look at that. The light is shining. The light is shining. As, as I said, it's a Prada Reedition 2000. Hey there. Can you tell? Okay, okay I'll fix it for you. Here you go. Prada Re-Edition 2000. It's a gorgeous, a gorgeous piece 
to me. Nylon is mainly used for clothes. It's not a fabric that you see typically for purses, right? So it, in all honesty, people think that nylon is a cheap fabric, but I'll tell you why this nylon is very different. When Mucha Prada came to the realm of her family company in the early 80s, I think it was late 70s or early 80s, that she took over a, a grandfather a company. What she brought was creativity, of course, but she differentiated herself in trying to learn a new fabric. And this is why I love creative, because back then it was all about leather purses, right? Leather, 70s, 80s, 90s, you know? And she had to learn to use nylon and refine the technique and all the different processes to make it in a functional material for a purse. And to me, that's the ingeniosity of a designer, right? It's not just about creating beautiful design. It's also about what material do you use? How can you transform the material to make it what it is? The nylon bag is just a testament to the creativity right? of Ucha Prada. I have to be honest, like I have to give it up to her. Like this is, this is good. Good job, mama. Good Going job. back to the crystal, the crystal bring a contemporary feel to it. Uh, it's very much 2020. It's very much driven by femininity. People love the bling bling. Um, I'm not quite a bling bling person, but this to me it's very beautiful and the crystals um also elevate the functionality because i can wear this purse during the day but i can also wear it during the night you know so when i saw the nylon bag um i didn't want to spend that money for it because i was like you know what i'm not gonna make too much use of this purse it's light and it's easy to carry but at the same time um, when I purchase things, I like to think about how often I'm going to use them. And this gives me the day functionality. Even if it has crystal, why not? Why not wear your bling during the day? But also the night functionality where you reflect the light in a beautiful manner. You know, every time I've worn this bag, I've always, always, always received compliments. And I love it. I love this purse. This is one of the purses I really, really do love. Let me know what you think about this purse. Actually, I've been asked by a couple of people to sell them this purse. And... The story about this purse, they came back to me and they asked me if I wanted to resell them this purse back. And I was like, no, I just bought it. Not even two months ago. You already want me to resell it back to you? Yeah, because it's still in high demand. Um, and again, because it was the limited edition, they haven't put out the crystal edition on the Prada website. I've checked it a couple of times and the black is still not there. You can still get the white, you can get the pink, but again, I think the best place to get the black will be on the resale market. Just make sure that you confirm that it's authentic. Oh, how much it hurts if you want to like, save some money and purchase something and then it turns out to be a bummer, right? A lot of brands have copied um, the crystal. I think that I saw a couple of Alexander Wang um, edition of crystals bags as well. And, and you see it's more often. I, I think that crystal bags are here to stay because again, you know, like coming out of a pandemic, people want to look cute, people want the joy of life, people want the bling, people want all of that. And I think that crystals are here to stay for a little while. So get yourself a crystal purse. It may not be the Prada re-edition, but it can also be the Alexander Wang, or I think I saw one from Jimmy Choo as well. So let me know what your favorite crystal bag is. Um, mine is hands down, hands down this one. It is hands down this one. I'm not even gonna fake it. You can tell by my smile that I love this purse. Hands down, it is this purse. So let me know what your favorite crystal bag is. And thank you for joining me. Um, give me a thumbs up. Follow me back on Instagram. And should I show you the interior before I log off? Okay, I'll show you the interior before I log off. What do I have in my purse? Uh, see, I clean my hands all the time. I have a hand sanitizer. I have a mask and this is the interior, right? it just says, again, it's fabric cloth inside and you have the logo right there. Thank you so much for joining me today and pleasures.